so long time no see. I'm sorry about that, but GCSEs had taken over my life. We had loads of big mocks in the hall and then lots of class tests and it's just been crazy for a bit. But now, as a lot of you will know, GCSEs are finally over. So I have officially left school, which feels so weird. I will be going to college in September to start A-levels, which is crazy that I'm that old and like I will be starting A-levels. But I have a lot of GCSE revision and it all needs clearing out. So I thought I'd bring you all on the journey to clear it out with me. Get back into posting on this YouTube channel. So please like and subscribe if you want more videos throughout the summer. And I hope you all enjoy the video. As you can see, I had a lot of GCSE revision. So basically to start off, I got it all out and just put it on the floor to see how much I had before going in to organise it. So I organised the revision into subject piles. The next step was organising all the piles of revision and getting my school books out of them. With these, I went through them and took out any pages that were blank from the middle, which I can reuse for A-level, and then stuck in any loose sheet so nothing got lost and it was all like with the subject and then just put all these into a big pile to clear away and those were done with. I sorted through my school books and then also made a pile of all like revision guides and then notebooks I'd written in and then folders of stuff I wanted to keep. There was also a pile of things for A-level and scrap paper. This is where day one of sorting through my revision came to an end. So basically I moved everything I'd sorted that day into my mum's room so my space was clear for the next day so I could just get straight on. I kept the piles of stuff for A-levels and any scrap paper so I could keep adding to it as I went through. Another pile of all my revision, then I sorted through some RS folders to give to my RS teacher. Then was day three where I finished the RS, then moved on to sorting through all my flashcards. Here I show how many flashcards I actually wrote. I did so many for science, the whole purple box was for science here. Then the pink box was for English, history and any others. These smaller mini boxes were also full of science, one, one for each for science, but I put it into a shoe box and it all ended up looking really nice. This is the pile of stuff I'm keeping for A-levels, so I'm very happy to have a lot of stuff I can reuse. And then the pile of scrap paper just to make small notes on. This is all my old provision, which I'd now moved into my mum's room. It was all cleared from mine, sorted and ready to go away so I can get ready for A-levels. Everything that I was able to keep for A-levels, I put away in my drawers. So then it's out of my way till the end of August when I can start getting ready to go to college. This is now the end of the video and all my revision is now sorted out of my room and my room is just tidy and ready for me to like redo it and like get everything ready for A-levels at the end of August. It all felt so weird like moving everything out of my room. This is all the work I've done for the last three years and like everything I've been working towards. So now, especially now I have nothing to do, no school, it's all so weird. But I hope you like the video and stick around for some more. I've got lots of time to film them, so comment down below what you want to see. And yeah, see you in the next video.